stare into chaos long enough, and the patterns we observe become indistinguishable from ourselves. From a pattern of decisions, we emerge. A collection. On September 15th, Flight 2082 departs San Francisco Airport. One hour and 48 minutes later, it lands in Las Vegas, Nevada. The passengers exit the plane. Upon entering the terminal, I turn left, walk down the hallway, and enter Cinnabon. As my order is prepared, I cannot help but stare into the center of the round pastry before me and wonder. Why does no one ever choose pecan? I wouldn't proudly describe myself as a consumer of unhealthy food, but too often I find myself seeking it out. At these times, surely, I'm not myself. My idea of who I am has never perfectly matched reality. Yet perhaps I know exactly who I am, and it's reality that has been altered. In an effort to reaffirm my identity as a healthy person, I buy apples from a local grocery store on the way to my hotel. But are apples enough? Will they protect my identity? Or am I just one can of homestyle pigeon sop away from losing myself? I buy tooth slime, but can it defend me from a cavity of the mind? Is there a product for sale that contains myself? I leave the grocery store and a tree outside catches my attention. Each leaf so confidently radiating such beautiful colors, yet no leaf stands out amongst the others. No leaf measures itself against the others. Each leaf simply does its small part to add to the overall majesty, and the tree, if I can speak of it as a single being. If a single being can encompass such beauty and such complexity, and still lay claim to itself as more than the sum of its parts, the tree certainly doesn't worry much about any single leaf, any single behavior, and no single leaf defines the tree. Quite the opposite, the tree gives definition and purpose to its leaves. The leaves themselves, mere chaos without the tree, but with it, together, they define a beautiful, confident pattern. I am one leaf lost in space, searching for a tree. I wandered through the streets of Las Vegas, a leaf blowing in the wind. Only to be caught by giant hands reaching up toward the sky. As leaves on plants in a garden, from our collective hands grow patterns we struggle to identify as ourselves. That night I felt as though my body was a pool of liquid water, pressurized and sprayed in a precise orderly fashion, as though to tell a story. Many droplets hanging in the air, a thick mist shimmering with light against a cover of darkness. I awoke in the morning, feeling both lost and found at the same time. From this contradiction, I broke free and stood adjacent to the flow. Others walked by, unable to see what from my perspective was clear. With my badge, a Penrose tile, I fit alongside any number of others to create an interlocking pattern that spanned to infinity in all directions. I enter DEF CON fully prepared to lose myself in a mess of wires beyond my comprehension. Indeed, the lessons are bountiful and many don't stick. But the closer I look, the more apparent it becomes. The most important lesson is staring back at me. As if a second set of eyes cover my own, I am able to see. 
What I am searching for is locked away. I am the key. Simply, it is not my place to choose what lock I open. I am a leaf, and it is not my place to choose how high my tree will grow or which direction my branch will reach. I am free to float a leaf in the wind. My carefully chosen path, myself, indistinguishable from chaos.